In this video, I'm going to show you how to make animated lines like this, and like this, in Premiere. To begin, I just added a blurry video clip to my timeline that I like to animate my line on. Let's start by going to File, New, Legacy Title. You can also use the Ctrl T keyboard shortcut. In the Title Designer, select the Line tool. While holding down the Shift key, click and drag to create a straight line. I'm also going to increase the line width to make it thicker. When you're done, close the window. Drag your new title from the project bin onto your timeline. Okay, so there are a couple different ways to animate lines. I'm going to start with the easiest way, which is expanding from the middle. Select the title on your timeline and go up to Effect Controls. Uncheck the Uniform Scale checkbox. Then move the time head to the start of the clip. Change Scale Width to 0 and click the stopwatch to create a starting keyframe. Move the time head to where you want the animation to end and change Scale Width's value to 100. Okay, and now when I play this back, we have a line animating from the middle. This looks good, but I'm going to undo this change and show you how to do it from the start of the line instead. Go over to the Effects panel and type Crop into the search box. Drag the effect onto your title. Then head up to Effect Controls. Position your time head at the start of the clip. Select the Crop effect so that you can see its bounds. Using the handle on the right side, drag its bounds so that it lines up with the start of your line, completely hiding it. Click the stopwatch next to the right property to create a starting keyframe. Move the time head to where you want the line to be drawn by. Select the crop effect again so that you can see the bounds outline. Now just drag the right handle to where your line ends to create your ending keyframe. Alright, and now we have a line being drawn from left to right. It works exactly the same from right to left or vertical directions, you would just be creating keyframes for those other properties and adjusting their bounding boxes instead. I'll quickly do a top to bottom example so you have a clear idea of what's going on. Don't worry about following along with this first part, I'm just creating a new title with a vertical line instead of a horizontal one and adding the crop effect to it. Okay, so here in effect controls for my new vertical line, I'm going to select the crop effect so that I can see the crop's bounds. Next, we're going to drag the crop's bottom handle up to the start of the line. Click the stopwatch next to the bottom property to create a starting keyframe. Then position the time head to where you want the line to be drawn by. Reselect the crop effect so that you can see the bounds again. Drag the bottom handle down until it completely reveals a line to create your ending keyframe. And now we have our vertical animated line. Okay, and that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.